Hey, welcome back to my new video. This is Sampath. You are watching Sampath FX YouTube channel, and this is Poco X3 custom ROM reviews. Cherry OS 3.9 Android version 12L, July 5th, 2022. Latest security patch and kernel user is 4.14.190 Strom Baker X15.1. This is the kernel has been used, and Linux status you can see here. Enforcing and build number and build date July 13. This is the latest build available for Poco X3 and I have been running the CPU throttling test from last 10 minutes and 8 milliseconds. You can see here the maximum is 161, average is 152 and minimum is 147 million JPS. The scores are low but throttling is not happened here. You can see here just 93% of its max performance scores should have been more than 200 or 250 like that. That's how it is. There is no maximum throttling is happening in this particular ROM and this is the app drawer you get and this is a quick settings panel you get let me go into edit section and add some of them for example refresh rate the location and the dark theme and sync also I will disable those things come back now again go to ok you can see the face unlock speed it's not as quick as some other ROMs again I will show you as you can see it takes lot more time to unlock your smartphone using the face i don't know why it is that's how it is and go into quick settings disable the location and sync options and refresh rate we can't choose it manually once it has set to 120 you can decrease that but you can't increase and power button you get advanced restart button also whenever you want to flash some other roms or you want to flash firmware again you can use that option and this is the settings panel you get as you can see it's smooth I've been using this from midnight already. You can just see here. These are the apps I have installed in this particular ROM and the camera application here get crashes. It comes with the default camera. You can see here this is the camera applications. Let me try to clear data and show you storage and cache. Clear cache, clear storage also. It, I try to open it but it is not getting opened as you can see it already closed in the background that's how the camera application if you want you can use gcam port i already provided nx camera just go to this camera application and uh, delete this camera i mean uninstall this and use your uh, preferred gcam any gcam ports you can use and there is one more camera application i don't think so anyone uses it coming to benchmark results starting with android benchmark you can see here 3,53,618 temperature raise was a little bit higher here 4.3 degrees celsius and battery drop is 3% scores are minimal not great or anything like that but it's a very good ROM previously we missed the 90 fps option in 3.8 now they have been added stay tuned till the end of the video then only you will understand more about this particular ROM now starting with benchmark result the Geekbench it's still in memory I opened this at the night it's still in the memory you can see here the single score is 523 and multi score is 1544 and kernel as i said before linux 4.14.190 strom baker x15 kernel 0.1 kernel has been used in this particular rom this is how the apps reviews i start with the safety net status it will get passed no need to worry about that directly you can get passed you can use all the payment applications like google pay phone pay paytm everything will be going to work fine in this particular rom no need to worry regarding that and drm info here the app opening are taking a little bit of time for simple apps you can see here level one certification you can use all the audit application in hd resolution that's not the problem in this particular rom that's how the apps review let me go into like google photos unlimited storage you will get you need to enable some of the options let's go into settings and show you here cherry settings these are the important customization i will just show you the simple things like battery status bar things you can customize quick settings also there are a lot more customization themes main thing you need to check here is dark theme use dark theme but there is no pitch black condition as you can see it's not in pitch black let me check whether it is there or not monet engine no there is no option to keep it in a completely dark that's the disappointment for me always i need a pitch black condition this is theme section and coming to animations you get all the basic customization buttons customization system navigation gesture navigation you get option to increase the pill length and it is visible you can see here 
that's how the buttons customization animation lock screen customization also you get plenty here you can utilize them uh, power menu as said before you can enable advanced start button some of the options notifications you get plenty of customization here too in the miscellaneous settings this is very important uh, display and animation when the device is plugged in if you want you can enable or disable and game space is also given here you can see unlimited photo storage unlock high fps in games and unlock higher quality streams before what they did was in 3.8 there was option to enable this but in the game it was not showing the native option that has been fixed in this particular update that is really good you can definitely try it out if you want to looking like if you are in 3.6 then you can update this using clean flash method as i always recommend and this how the customization if you come back from here again into the display you get plenty of options here dark theme as i said before you don't have any pitch black condition colors you get rgb strength adjustment and some of the presets if you swipe like this okay just wallpapers that and the minimum refresh rate let me keep to 120 and maximum also 120 now you get options to decrease or increase here no it's still not working that option it was there in the previous update also and enable this smooth display it refresh from 60 to 120 and low power refresh rate you can keep whatever you want accidental wake up and app refresh rate you can choose per app refresh rate ambient display is also working fine and some of the options are given here lcd features i recommend to turn off these two whenever you are playing a high-end games like bgm or whatever game you are playing just disable this and then only you won't face any heating or overheating or even getting warmer like that that's how it is coming to security and lock screen you get face lock fingerprint unlock as i said before face lock is very slow let me show you that fingerprint unlock at least this is quick enough not bad but face unlock let me show you again face unlock is too much slow in my opinion compared to any other custom rooms for poco x3 and if you're first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below guys and also all of the bell notification by pressing the bell icon if you like the video give it a like many people watching my videos but not subscribing to have a subscribe to my channel you will get a similar kind of videos coming to like home settings you get this kind of pixel launcher pre-installed in this particular room and widgets as usual you get that monitor sorry the material you design style the under 12 style widgets are available you can edit them in future also and wallpaper sun style again here also print of wallpapers are pre-installed it takes time sometime as you can see you can use them or if you want you can use any other third party applications this is how the rom and benchmark results and everything let me show you the charging animation will it support 33 watt charger or not let's check out you can check out it is working fine charging rapidly you can see here the fast charging is supported in this particular rom and i'll show you the bgma gameplay here
Blue team has scored for the first time! And coming to verdict, this is a very good ROM you can see here. This is all the recent apps and you can see the speed here. It's fine enough and even the scrolling speeds and opening can quick settings panel and these are the settings you get into the sound and vibration you get all the basic things like haptic feedback strength you can adjust from here me sound enhancer you get these two options included with this one the select scene this is from pogo x3 me options these all the things working fine everything is fine here if you want to use it as a daily driver you can definitely use it and if you are in 3.8 i will recommend to shift to this 3.9 if you are in 3.6 it depends upon you guys if you are okay with that stay with that if you want to get better experience then you can switch to 3.9 thank you for watching guys we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smelling bye bye for now